Hey guys, it's Connie here and today I am sharing a process video of this of my latest project for a cherry on top it's a winter mini album using the winter woods collection by simple stories the spiral punch cartridge and the um let me see here the book cover guide and the multi cinch tool okay month multi cinch book binding machine there you go so on um, here you will see me um going through the pages of the things that i'm gonna be using album is five and a half by three and a half so here you see me using the book cover guide I really like it to I like really love using this tool when I'm creating chipboard mini albums um, you can find them in two colors I have the teal one but there's also a pink one that I'm gonna get one day you see me going around framing the extra uh, paper around the chipboard and then adding double-sided tape to the edge of the paper okay I really like using this book binding guide too I mean it helps I feel like it's perfect to make sure all your corners are clean precise trim everything just looks better when I use it here you see me pressing the tip down and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool to um, cut my edges and as you can see um, this tool leaves about an eighth of an inch around the chipboard because if you close if you cut too close to the chipboard your chipboard is going to show you don't want that you want to make sure that the paper is a little bit off chipboard you see me tucking the one eighth of a little piece that is left over inside and then adhering the paper to the chipboard I'm here doing the second cover on uh, the same process, getting all the corners tucked in, adhering the paper to the chipboard, and just making sure everything is down properly. And now I am going to be using the multi cinch book binding machine. This machine is really nice. It comes with different type of cartridges, but the one that I'm going to be using today is the spiral one. So that's the yellow one, the spiral. All right, so now, I am going to be cutting the papers for the chipboard to size just like a little bit under the measurements of the album um, so the pages are the same size of the mini album itself three and a half by five and a half but you can definitely use the six by eight paper pad because um, I just had I just work with what I had okay what if you have the paper pad you can definitely create this mini album. Um, you can also use the chipboard frames in the front. Um, you can add some stickers. Um, I added some trim, the pom-pom trims in the front after to finish off the album. So now I am going to adhere this to the back of the cover, chipboard cover, to cover the chipboard. I line everything up, then take, took the rest of the tape cover to make sure everything is centered around as close as possible or as best as I can do it, leaving a little trim around the chipboard. There you go, and then using that scoring tool to press it down so everything is adhered properly. So now I am going through my pages to see uh, which one I want coming one after the other. Just going through them to see how I want them to flow. I also use some of the die cut pieces from the Winter Woods collection. Um, this is, let me see, the bits and pieces. Or not the bits and pieces, maybe the notes one, journaling ones. Those ones. And then I added some untorn paper also. 
you just have to make sure that everything is lined up so it's easier for you to add the spiral binding it is really easy to do guys very easy if you want to use a paper clip to have all the keep all the pages together so they don't move um you can do that if you don't have patience <laughs> but for me um i think it's lined up pretty easy i just had to make sure that i'm holding the ones at the bottom to complete the ones at the top as you can see here, I did this step about three times. So I added the chipboard covers and the pages. Then I decided that I wanted bits and pieces inside of it for notes. Then I took it apart again. As you can see, it was already cut. And I decided that I wanted a chipboard frame in front of it. So it's easy to take off if you decide to add more pages or if you want to add um, maybe like a shaker, a sequence shaker packet. Oh, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> or if you want to add little extra details to it. So there you go, so easy. And I didn't adhere the chipboard piece to the um, front of the chipboard. I left it the way it was. Here I am adding that little flag from the bits and pieces. I'm adding some foam stickers to the front to embellish. And you will see me around, going around. The title is gonna be Hello Winter. And I haven't printed my photos yet, so you, you won't see the results with the photos, but you will see um, the end of it, okay? And I skip. So here is the finished album. You can embellish as you want, depending on the sizes of your photos. Um, in this mini album, I can add two by two photos and also three by five photos. It just depends uh, if they have like a white edge or I can just make them a bit smaller to fit more, um, to fit better so they can see the paper in the background or add layers of paper in the background. This is it guys let me know what you guys think about it in the comments i added a little flip page here to make it more interactive um let me know if you are going to be creating a project like this you don't have to have the multi-stitch um, tool to create it if you have a punch hole you have some ring binders you do it with what you have and then um but i will also go ahead and link everything in the description um, where you can find all the little things that i use okay so bye guys thank you so much for watching and Thank you for taking your time to be here with me today. <laughs> Bye.